Can I uh, just salute the person who wrote the following column, uh, the following comment? I'm going to read it in full because it's um, it, it's worthwhile. It's uh, it occurs in a piece that I underneath a piece I wrote about uh, I, I posted about housing migrants in tents, which I think is abhorrent. This person says, "Tents? What are we? A third world dictatorship? This is getting horribly close to camps. Not in my name." The government has set us on a road which leads to a truly, truly dark place. Again, not in my name. This is beyond writing polite letters to MPs. This is fascism. And believe me, fascism is not a word I use lightly. I am Jewish and disabled. And yes, I would never have dreamt of suggesting John Major was pursuing fascist policies because he wasn't. As much as I disagreed with many of them, it was normal political disagreement. And that is absolutely stating the case in the clearest terms that I can think of. And so much of my concerns about the direction of this present government and our country uh, is focused on one person, Suella Braverman, and the ministry that she leads, which is pursuing policies which take us beyond the edge of acceptable behaviour. And it needs to be called out. It needs to be called out because this isn't about political discourse. This is about what is right and what is wrong. And I think it was evident some time ago. It was evident on the day when she stood at the dispatch box and screamed, Invaders! against Albania. And that level of xenophobic, rabble-rousing demagogy is not part of our character as a country. It is heinous, it is wrong, and it's not about being on one political side or the other. It's about morality. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's, not, it's also not about being uh, ab about uh, the issue of small boats or about resolving, quote, the migrant pro problem. The migrant problem is there, and it's not just our problem. It's a problem that affects all of Northern Europe. And it's something that we have to deal with. We can only deal with that together, I believe. This unilateral approach is wrong. I think that's a political statement. But the moral statement is we cannot, sta we cannot have somebody stand at the dispatch box and scream uh, xenophobic and racist abuse about another country. And we certainly cannot tolerate somebody who fails to respond to concerns of another prime minister and the um, crown prince, which she didn't, just ignoring other people. It is astonishing. In the same way, Lee Anderson is, has a senior role in the Conservative Party, and yet is equally engaged in rabble-rousing and appalling language uh, on his TV show, which he shouldn't be doing. And again, this is completely abhorrent, uh, denigrating another prime minister from the position of being the deputy chairman of the Conservative Party, a senior minister in the Conservative Party, ranting on television. This is not about political debate. This is about what is moral, what is honest, what is honourable. These are the three issues. And it doesn't matter whether we think um, we have too many migrants or we don't have enough migrants in this country. I personally think... We need more people from abroad to come make our systems work and to do the jobs that aren't being done. And I personally think that there are so many migrants in this country who are being locked in hotels and absurd accommodation uh, who would be only too happy to do real work. And I don't think that we should dictate what they do. I think we should let them get on with the skills, practicing the skills that they have. That is what we did in the past. That is what other European countries are increasingly now doing. Because they realise people want dignity and people want to make a contribution to their new country. If we gave people that opportunity, 
There are those people who can't work. There are those people who've been so badly tortured and injured by their experiences in their home country uh, that they've come here seeking simply security and a way to get back on their feet. Well, once those people who can work are out working and contributing and in our system and paying tax, they're on paper. And the others, actually, I would have thought can be quite quickly processed and almost certainly qualify for asylum. Suddenly, the job of our lazy home office is done overnight. And we don't have to think about where we're accommodating all these people because we can put the people who need uh, security, care and support, we can put them in places where they're going to get that rather than uh, putting them in tents. Putting people in tents. Have we gone back to the Boer War? I don't normally ask rhetorical questions. I think rhetorical questions are a lazy way of proceeding. But have we gone back to the Boer War? I'm asking this of Suella Bravman if she's listening. I don't suppose she is. Um, and um, it's, it's extraordinary. It's quite extraordinary that we've got to the point where we can say we are run by a government which is defined, which is defined by dishonesty, by dishonourable behaviour and by laziness.